it's me, Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about my fall book recommendations. Now, listen, I'm not one of those people that are all about fall. I do love myself a good aesthetic, and I think fall has the strongest aesthetic of all of the seasons, which is why it's superior. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Books that I feel have the strongest aesthetic, and the majority of them fall into like the fall themes. So yeah, let's get started. The first book I want to talk about is Slasher Girls and Monster Boys Thriller Anthology and listen up, I don't really like short story collections or anthologies that much, but I did love this one. All but like two of these stories I felt were like perfect for fall. They're all very like eerie. They have a good spooky theme going on, so I think they're perfect for fall. I read it last year in October, just before Halloween, and I thought it was perfect. The second book in this story gave me actual nightmares, so if you like that kind of thing, I highly, highly recommend. Next, I want to talk about probably my favorite adult book of all time, which is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. This book is about two people named Lily and Ted, I think is his name, some basic name. They meet at an airport and Ted is a little bit upset. He's drinking away his sorrows and Lily's like, oh, what's wrong? And he's like, oh, uh, uh, my wife cheated on me. I'm so mad at her, I could kill her. And then Lily's like, I'll help you if you want. From there they go and they plan his wife's murder and it gets crazy. This actually is the book that I've made the most people in my life read. Like I was counting it yesterday with my sister and I've made like five people read it. That's a lot when you think about the fact that nobody in my life actually reads and everyone loved it. So hopefully if you guys read this book, you'll love it too. I mean, murder and fall, that's a, that's a match made in heaven. Next, I would like to recommend Three Dark Crowns. This is a series, there's three books I believe out right now. This series follows a magical island where a set of triplet girls are born. These three girls have to kill each other and the last one standing gets to be queen. They each have their own type of power. The idea is that they use those powers to kill the others and the most powerful girl gets to become queen and rule the land. And I recommend these books for fall because they are so atmospheric. They are so dark and twisted and they're very character driven and they're slow building. And I think they're really perfect book to like read while you're sitting by your window and like watching leaves fall and drinking a cup of tea. I mean, that's what I want to do when I read these. So yeah, I highly recommend these. They're a perfect fall book. Murder and fall. Do we sense a theme? Next, I have The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This book is about a town haunted by three sisters who were presumed to be witches. They were put to death 200 or 300 years ago. I can't remember exactly. And now every year in the three week span and in the anniversary of when they were murdered, they come back and they haunt the town and they kill teenage boys. I would recommend this book for June or fall because June is the three week period when they come back and haunt. It's like the summer solstice is when they come. So I would recommend reading it then, which was when I read it, which was amazing. But also in fall because it's so atmospheric and so dark. And just when you're reading this book, you feel like you're in the town and it's actually insane. Also, the plot is really cool. And the plot twist at the end of this book had me so shook. It's the reason why it's four stars instead of three stars for me because it, it was crazy. Yeah, the writing's so beautiful and it's a very dark story and um, murder. Next, I have If We Are Villains by M.L. Rio. This book is about seven people in an acting program that are in their last year of their schooling when something goes terribly, terribly wrong. This is sort of a mystery, but also it's very character driven. It's kind of like a character study of these seven actors and how being so close together has affected their relationship. And it's really intriguing. Um, also, murder. So fix the theme perfectly. And lastly, because it's impossible for me to do a recommendations video without mentioning this book, I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. For those of you who don't know, this book is about a girl named Blue and her family full of psychics and her quest with three raven boys, Adam, Gansey, and Ronan, to find a dead Welsh king named Glendower. That makes no sense. This book makes no sense, but in the best way possible. I suggest everyone to just give this a chance if you like anything to do with time and like 
fortune telling and psychics and like magical realism. The atmosphere in this book is so strong. They go into a magical forest, like that's one of the major settings of this book. And it just, I feel like when I read this, I can smell being in this forest. And also these characters are amazing. I mean, that has nothing to do with why I recommend it for fall, but so good. And bonus, no mur- mm, actually there, there may be murder. Wow, are you guys proud of me? I just mentioned the Raven Boys without even talking about Anna Parrish, so like, good job, Grace. Anyway, that is my video. Those are my fall book recommendations. I hope you liked it, and thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, depending on how much time I have, and I'll see you next time. Bye!